This video was published in November. You may be watching it any time of year on counterman.com or the Group Training Academy website. But if you're watching it between October and December, you're in the heart of deer collision season, also known as the Battle of the Bumpers versus the Bucks or the Does against the Doors. October through December is prime mating and migrating season for deer, which means it's a peak time for deer-related accidents. According to State Farm, the most dangerous months for animal collisions in general are November, October, and December in that order. While deer collisions are an opportunity for parts stores and auto body shops, they're a pain in the wallet for drivers. The Ohio Department of Insurance notes that the average insurance claim for a deer vehicle collision in Ohio is nearly $5,000. And AAA has found that all of the sensors and high-tech safety features on late model vehicles can double the repair bills for a minor collision. However, deer aren't the only animals that should be on a driver's radar. As Tom Dayton points out in a recent Counterman article, Alaskans, New Englanders, and our Canadian friends also need to watch out for moose. At nearly seven feet tall and more than 1,000 pounds, a collision with a moose is more than 10 times as likely to result in a human fatality when compared to striking a deer. With long legs and a higher center of gravity, a struck moose often clears the hood and winds up in the windshield or on the roof of the car that hits it. Smaller animals are capable of doing a lot of damage too. As Tom Dayton explains, road-killed armadillos are a common sight along the highway in Texas and across the South. With a Spanish name meaning little armored one, the armadillo's hard plating has been known to puncture tires. When startled, the armadillo jumps up to three feet straight up in the air. That might scare predators in the wild, but it also means that when a car or truck passes over one in the road, it's likely to jump up into the underside of the vehicle, killing the armadillo and causing damage to vehicle components. Proving that size doesn't matter, some of the most common damage claims result from small rodents chewing on wiring, insulation, and other underhood materials. Here in the United States, this damage is widely blamed on mice, rats, chipmunks, and squirrels. In Europe, the prime suspect is a weasel known as a marten or stoat. These ferret-like animals are such a nuisance that many insurance providers offer weasel policies specifically to cover losses from marten and stoat damage. Claims in Germany, Switzerland, and Belgium are equivalent to 60 million US dollars annually. Individual claim values average $500 per incident, according to one estimate but they're increasing due to the complex interconnectivity between wired systems and the higher cost of damaged hybrid and electric vehicle components. Data released by State Farm in September 2023 puts the odds of U.S. drivers hitting an animal at 1 in 127. The state where drivers have the highest likelihood, no pun intended, of hitting an animal? Well, it's West Virginia, followed by Montana, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. So how can you help your customers get through deer season unscathed? Well, the keys to avoiding a collision with any animal come down to basic common sense. For one thing, drive with caution, especially in marked deer crossing zones and on rural roads. And be especially cautious around dawn and dusk. Deer tend to be particularly active between 6 and 9 p.m., which is why they're the highest risk times for deer vehicle collisions. And when we say drive with caution, put your phone down for God's sake. Another tip for your customers, use your high beams when possible for nighttime driving. High beams will better illuminate the deer's eyes on or near the road. And finally, understand deer behavior. Keep in mind that deer tend to travel in herds and in a single file. If you see one deer, there are likely more behind it. Stay safe out there and thanks for watching.